Sí, habla español. There he is. Wow, fresh. We're going to a bar that was very hard to locate. What's up, man? Yeah, it looks good. Best burritos in Paris. I think we got a little carried away with the drinking in the bar. We might have. Even the cars are sun bleached. Ow, my hand just got burnt touching the hood of that car. I've just flown into El Paso, Texas, where it is blazing hot. It is like a hundred and something degrees out here. And I'm waiting on an Uber, which will take me to the international border. From there, I'll cross on foot into Ciudad Juarez. It is hot. It is hot. I figured my Uber driver would of course be Mexican, but he's not. <laughs> he's from Argentina. Yeah, I swear. <laughs> and he's been to Japan. And have you ever been to Ciudad Juarez? No, I've never been. No, there. okay, no. wow. I've never been in Mexico. Never been to Mexico. Never. This is apparently the only Argentinian in El Paso. El Paso. <laughs> Nate, nice Hello. to meet you. Have a good trip. Thank you. Enjoy Juarez. Thank you. <laughs> So this is what the pedestrian border crossing looks like in El Paso. That long bridge that we're looking at here is the bridge that I'm about to walk over into Ciudad Juarez. And the freeway is still the United States, but just beyond it, you can see a barbed wire fence. And that is Mexico. I remembered before I left home to bring some of my peso pocket change. 10 pesos, right? All right, there we go. It's actually a little more difficult than crossing the border in Tijuana because there is an enormous bridge that crosses the U.S. freeway. And I've got a long uphill climb in front of me. Okay, so at the end of this long pedestrian bridge that spans the freeway, there's some military guys here coming up on it now. Yes, yeah, he Spanish. But when other people speak very rapidly, no entiendo. Okay, muchas gracias. Okay, that's it. Little baggage check and uh, mi primera vez en Ciudad Juarez. Gracias. A lively, vibrant little scene. First order of business is Cambio. Change out my US dollars for Mexican pesos. 200. Don't yeah. the money like that. Ah, okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you, appreciate it. I appreciate it. Thank you. Muchas gracias. I just got to my hotel, the Courtyard by Marriott. It's kind of out in the middle of nowhere, but I got this for free. Well, I got this with my Marriott Bonvoy points. It was only 15,000 points, which if you're a Bonvoy member, that's, um, that's not much. Hotels usually go for 25, 30,000 points and up per night. My favorite amenity at any Marriott, a bar. Your standard Marriott layout. I am very excited that they do have a restaurant and bar downstairs because there are few promising ideas within walking distance of this hotel zone. There's some kind of burning inferno in the distance. There he is, Manny. Go, brother. Headed to the X or La X as it's called, right? La X. La X. La X. Up, up, and away we go. Beautiful shot of the X. Wow, what a staggering piece of artistic beauty in the middle of kind of like hard scrabble landscape. A very stark contrast to the environment around it. I think we got our shot. All right. We got our money shot of the X. We're about to enter Maria Chuchena. It's a local restaurant that's been recommended by a bartender friend that works here. And he says, it's a good version of modern high-end Mexican cuisine here in Ciudad Juarez. Maria Chuchena. Wow, fresh.
going to a bar that was uh, very hard to locate on the outskirts of Ciudad Juarez. Very desolate industrial area. Manny, can I try the glasses? Yeah. Manny's seen me with all kinds of glasses. I have, man, I have a feeling. He's a chameleon. Anytime he puts some glasses on Manny, he looks good. <laughs> style ride or a bus to Chihuahua. Coming in for a landing. Right. Our Uber driver, David, did give us a great recommendation for, quote, the best burritos in Juarez. Cafe Apoyo. We were supposed to meet two friends, two new friends that we met at the bar last night. We promised to meet us here at the market for tacos and talk to me on camera about the city. But I think we got a little carried away with the drinking in the bar. We might have, we might have, yeah. And uh, it may have just been bar talk, BS in other words. No, I think they were sincere about joining us. I think so, yeah. Like, but then they woke up. They had like, like actual things to say, really strongly opinionated about like Juarez, like transborder culture. It's, yeah. As, like, it's a city that it was separated. But after a while, a, a bit of being just one city, like Juarez and El Paso were just one city. In that, many Californians, despite the violence in Tijuana, and despite the stories about the violence in Tijuana they will still visit Baja California because Baja California has a big draw for retirees and for surfers. There's still this dream about Mexico that lives in the minds of a lot of Californians. And so they'll run the gauntlet, so to speak. They're willing to cross through Tijuana to um, try to achieve their retirement dream of living at the beach in Ensenada or living at the beach in Rosarito surfing in Mexico in retirement um, but there's there's no equivalent here in uh, what <laughs> Pancho and Cafe Apoyo just had great little lunch at Cafe Apoyo burritos but traditional style burritos meaning uh, it's more like a, a meat stew wrapped in um, a smaller version of what we consider burritos in America. There's no rice, there's no beans. It's uh, like I said, think about your mother's beef stew wrapped in a nice roasted tortilla shell. This wall is uh, commemorating famous actors. This is Dan Ramon. And uh, man after my own heart, you can see he's memorialized there with a film camera. It actually doesn't look too dissimilar from the Airy S that I learned to uh, to film with at NYU Film School. It had this turret with the three lenses on it here. You got your wide, medium, and long lens, and you just sort of spin it when you want to swap a lens. Kind of convenient. I wonder what happened to that idea. This is Tintan, and he was a pachuco. And uh, pachuco is a performer um, in like the zoot suit. Very Chicano. Right? A lot of the Chicano culture in Los Angeles actually originated from the Juarez and El Paso area. The same kind of swag as Chicano style. And this is El Loco Valdez, a famous Mexican comedian. El Loco Valdez, Tintan, and Don Ramon, they were brothers. Famous Mexican brothers in the performing arts. 
the city has this very sun bleached look. A nice, uh, a soft palette of pastel colors. Even the cars are sun bleached. It looks kind of romantic on the architecture, uh, not so much so on the automobiles. Ow, my hand just got burnt touching the hood of that car. For a city that has a reputation of being violent, at least on a Friday morning, a Friday afternoon, kind of pleasant. I mean, very quiet, very peaceful. All right, time to catch an Uber. We're headed back to the hotel and we're about to make the mission to Chihuahua, Mexico for some Sotol. Bien, bien. 